Hi there. In this video, we will see CSS pseudo selectors called placeholder and placeholder shown with difference between those two selectors. So, the placeholder CSS pseudo selector allows you to style the placeholder text of a form element. So, let's see this by an example. Okay. So, for example, you have one form element. Okay, in form you have one label, label with four, you can say username and uh, let's say username, okay, which label we have an input field, type is equal to text and name is equal to username, id is equal to username and here we can give Enter user name. Okay, so ignore this for now. You can see this is a default placeholder. So if you want to style this placeholder, you can write down in CSS input placeholder and let's say color red. You can give more properties like text align, right? For example, or font weight, bold. There are a few properties which you can apply. Okay. So, um, so as you can see, it's working fine. So, this is uh, really depend on your browser. So, this will work in Chrome to make it work in other browsers you need to write down vendor specific css for example you can write down webkit input placeholder and same css okay this will work in chrome and opera and The next one is Mozilla, Mozilla Firefox, Moz placeholder and same CSS. This will work in Firefox 19 version. Next one is MS input placeholder and same class, same property. This will work in i10 plus and last one is Moz placeholder. This will work for Firefox less than 18. So previous version than 18, it will work fine. Okay, so this is placeholder CSS pseudo selector. Similarly, there is one uh, new and uh, similar CSS pseudo selector called placeholder shown. We will see this in a while. Okay. So this functionality is not standardized yet. That means that every browser has a different idea on how it should work. So Firefox originally, originally implemented this as a pseudo class, but uh, after that they changed it at a, some, for some reasons. Okay, so um, for Firefox, you simply have to use Moz placeholder and it will work fine. Okay, so how many styles are supported for this property? Font properties, let me take it down. Font properties is supported. All the font properties like font color, font size, and font weight. Color, okay. Um, BG properties also supported. Word spacing and uh, letter spacing, same as word spacing. After that, uh, 
it is supported by text decoration underline or other such styles uh, line height is also supported after that uh, text indent indent is also supported and op opacity is it? it is also supported so the pseudo class supports almost uh, all the properties but uh, this is not uh, supported all the css properties okay when you uh, tell about the browser support as i mentioned above you need to um, write vendor specific css for browser support okay let's see the next pseudo class called placeholder shown so the placeholder shown pseudo class select the input element itself when placeholder text exit in a form input so let me show you an example what does it mean we have this input okay now we have uh, let me add one br so it will look better we have another input which type is equal to text okay here we have placeholder and you can say this is placeholder okay let me remove this label we don't need it here we have placeholder as well as value of this input this is some value okay so let me just print this out so you don't get confused So for CSS, what do you have to do? You have to write down input placeholder dash show. Okay, and you need to make sure this is and let's say not color, let's give border four pixel solid red. I think some CSS is broken. Yeah, CSS is not correct. It says so. Input. Um, let me check the comments. The comment is fine. Input placeholder shown. This looks fine. Placeholder shown. This is also fine. Let me reload the. Restart the browser, uh, restart the server. Yeah, CSS was not getting generated. So, here you can see the placeholder shown water properties there because this has placeholder and this input has placeholder as well as value. So, this property. Uh, which we are look, talking about placeholder shown will not apply here because it has value property okay so what is the idea behind this uh, placeholders text space inputs and text area input can have placeholder text right so it's the text that's shown when the input is empty to suggest a possible value so this is the reason why we are using placeholder and placeholder shown css pseudo class so what is the main difference between placeholder shown and placeholder so placeholder shown is for selecting the input itself when its placeholder text is being shown and at other side to placeholder which styles the placeholder text only so this is the main difference between them okay so sometimes it is uh, confusing because the specification only has placeholder shown not placeholder right and placeholder shown can still affect the styling of the placeholder text since it is a parent element okay so you have to note one thing here placeholder shown CSS pseudo selector is a pseudo class and placeholder is a pseudo element 
this is the main difference so you need to make sure before you use it i hope you like this video please give us a like and subscribe if you are new to this channel see you next time around thank you